By the end of this video, you'll know the 10 US cities teetering on the edge of collapse and what it will take for them to recover. So number one, let's start with Philadelphia. This city once known as the cradle of American democracy is now struggling to keep its residents. Crime rates are through the roof. 500 plus homicides in 2023, making it one of the deadliest years in recent history. And the job market isn't exactly inspiring confidence as it has yet to recover from the pandemic with an unemployment rate that exceeds the national average. Home prices might be lower than in other big cities, but when you factor in the lack of economic opportunity, even that feels like a raw deal. City officials are trying to turn things around with various redevelopment projects and community initiatives. They're hoping that by revitalizing neighborhoods and investing in public safety, they can reverse this downward spiral. But can a few new buildings and a handful of job programs really make a dent in a city that's been on the decline for years? Or is Philadelphia just delaying the inevitable? Next up, number two, Boston. This historic hub is facing a mass exodus due to skyrocketing living costs and stagnant wages, with the median home price soaring to $825,000. The numbers just don't add up for most residents. Combine that with aging infrastructure and you've got a city that's quickly losing its shine. Now, the city's leaders are betting big on public projects and tech hubs to save the day. They're pouring money into modernizing the transit system and attracting startups, hoping it'll bring back the people who have had enough. But let's be real, will a few shiny new projects really fix years of neglect and make Boston livable again? Or is this just another band-aid on a city that's already bleeding out? If you're thinking about investing in real estate or planning a big move, you need to watch the rest of this. These aren't just cities at risk. They're places where your grand plans could crumble before they even begin. Now let's talk about number three. Portland. Once a poster child for progressive living and vibrant culture, the city is now grappling with issues that are driving people away in droves. Rampant homelessness, rising crime, and a downtown that's more boarded up than bustling. This isn't the Portland people once flocked to. City leaders are pushing for solutions with plans to address homelessness and revitalize the urban core. They're banking on these efforts to bring back the city's former glory. But let's be honest, can Portland really bounce back from this level of decline? Or are these so-called solutions just a temporary patch on problems that have been festering for years? Number four, Detroit. Once the heart of America's auto industry, now a symbol of urban decay. Sure, there's been talk of a comeback with new businesses popping up downtown and a push to revitalize abandoned neighborhoods. But let's not kid ourselves. Outside of a few gentrified pockets, much of the city is still struggling with poverty, crime, and a crumbling infrastructure that seems beyond repair. But yes, there is hope that Detroit could rise from the ashes, but is it really enough? Can a handful of new developments and some fresh coats of paint really bring the city back to life? Or is Detroit destined to remain a cautionary tale of what happens when a city collapses and never truly recovers? Now you might be wondering, what do all these cities have in common? Well, they're all facing the same challenges, high cost of living, crime, and poor economic prospects. But here's the kicker. It's not just these 10 cities. The issues we're seeing here could spread, affecting more places if things don't change. So what's it gonna take for these cities to recover? The path forward, it isn't easy. But with the right investments in infrastructure, community safety, and economic development, there is hope. But it's crucial that these efforts start now, or 2025 could be a breaking point for many. Let's move on to number five, Los Angeles, the city of angels that's looking more like the city of broken dreams with sky high living costs, a homelessness crisis that's spiraling out of control and some of the worst traffic in the country is no wonder people are fleeing. The glitter of Hollywood can't hide the fact that this city is in serious trouble. City officials are throwing money at the problem. They're trying to tackle homelessness and improve public transit. But get this, in three years of an anti-camping law being in effect in Los Angeles, only two unhoused individuals were placed into permanent housing and it cost more than $3 million to implement. That's according to a city memo released Friday. Now let's talk about number six, Seattle. This city once celebrated for its booming tech industry and stunning natural surroundings. It's now grappling with a host of problems that are driving people away. The cost of living, it's become unbearable. Traffic congestion is among the worst in the nation and homelessness is rampant here too. The city's rapid growth has outpaced its infrastructure, leaving residents frustrated and fed up. Seattle's leadership is trying to address these issues with new housing projects and transportation initiatives, but can they really keep up with the mess that's 
been created here? Is there any chance these efforts will actually make a difference? Or is Seattle on a fast track to becoming another city people are desperate to escape? While we're focused on these 10 cities, it's important to mention others like Cleveland, Honolulu, and Milwaukee that didn't quite crack the top 10, but these cities are also on the brink, but they do have some promising recovery efforts underway. We're rooting for them to bounce back in 2025. Let's continue with next on the list, number seven, New York City. The city that never sleeps, but lately it seems like it's having nightmares with some of the highest taxes in the country, an astronomical cost of living, and an increasing number of residents leaving for more affordable pastures. New York City's shine is starting to wear off. Even the iconic skyline can't hide the cracks forming in the foundation of this once unstoppable metropolis. Sure, there are plans to boost affordable housing and improve public services, but is it really going to be enough? Can these initiatives truly bring relief to a city that's buckling under its own weight? Or are we witnessing the slow decline of a place that's just become too expensive, too chaotic, and too difficult to live in? Let's turn to number eight, Washington, D.C., the nation's capital, which is facing more than just political gridlock these days. Skyrocketing housing prices, growing political instability, and a shrinking population are making D.C. a far less attractive place to live and invest. The city's residents are feeling the squeeze, and many are deciding that it's just not worth it anymore. Sure, there are ongoing efforts to revitalize neighborhoods and stabilize the local economy, but can these really counteract the deep-seated issues that have been troubling the city for years? Is there any real chance DC can pull itself back from the brink? Or are we looking at a capital that's losing its luster faster than it can keep up? But it's not just residents who are feeling the pinch. Real estate investors are walking a fine line in cities like these. Take for example, the recent downturn in San Francisco's housing market, where property values have dropped by nearly 10% in just the past year. Investors who poured money into what seemed like a booming market are now watching their investments lose value as the city struggles with its deep-seated issues. And it's not just San Francisco. Across these troubled cities, the same story is playing out. Businesses are closing, populations are shrinking, and property values are becoming more volatile. The truth is, Real estate just doesn't work without people. You need a steady influx of residents attracted to your market for your investment to appreciate. That's why it's crucial to focus on places with a high quality of life, where job opportunities are plentiful, neighborhoods are safe, and more people are moving in than moving out. One quick hack to know where people are headed is to check out U-Haul's growth index page. The states in orange here, that's where people are moving to. The states in blue, those are the ones people are leaving. And whether you grab the free investor packet or not for safe turnkey real estate investments at cashflowsavvy.com, before you invest, make sure your target market is one where people actually want to live. Otherwise, you might find yourself holding a property that's losing value as fast as the city around it. Back to our list, number nine. I hinted to it just a second ago, San Francisco, a city once known for its innovation and breathtaking views, but now more infamous for its unaffordable living costs and an overwhelming homelessness crisis. The tech boom that once drove the city's growth is now backfiring with a volatile real estate market and residents fleeing from more affordable locations. City officials are trying to tackle these issues with new housing initiatives and efforts to clean up the streets, but are they really trying? How does a city rid itself of its homelessness problem overnight in preparation for the arrival of China's Xi Jinping and then allows the streets to return to their previous condition just days after he left? Number 10. Once the bustling heart of the Midwest, now a city grappling with high crime rates, a shrinking population, and a real estate market that's becoming increasingly unstable. In 2022, the city recorded over 700 homicides, marking it as one of the most violent cities in the United States. The businesses that once thrived here, they're packing up and leaving. Boeing, Caterpillar, Citadel, Tyson Foods, Ferrara Candy, GE Healthcare, they've all moved out in the last 24 months seeking areas with a more favorable business climate, lower taxes, and a higher quality of life for their employees. The departure of these significant companies is a clear indicator of the challenges that this city faces in retaining and attracting businesses. And residents, they're following suit, searching for safer, more affordable places to live. City leaders here too are pushing for reforms and community initiatives to curb the violence and revitalize neighborhoods, but can these efforts really turn the tide? I'm talking about Chicago, by the way. Is the city capable of pulling itself out of this downward spiral or is it destined to continue losing its place as a major American city? If you're in one of these cities or thinking about investing, the next few years will be critical. So watch for signs of progress and be ready to act. 
I mean, do you think they can recover by the end of 2025? Or is it too late? I'd love to hear your thoughts down below in the comments. And if you happen to be a cash flow investor, you'll wanna know why I would never invest in these states here. I pulled this video out for you to watch next. Otherwise, I'll see you next time. Thanks for watching. Take care.